Well, you know, um, when you finally get the right person, all, all of a sudden it's almost like, you know, time stand, stand still, you know, and you're watching what you've wanted to find, what you wanted to see, and it's almost as if, you know, life has just become easier. You know, you're dealing with the fact that you're watching the film that you have in your head as a you know creative person as far as uh, uh, directing and everything else. You're watching this thing come to be right in front of you, even in the audition process. And we haven't even touched on the depth of what is going to need to be coming out of that. And there's so much there. So um, I was extremely elated because I knew that my work had been done. It wasn't a specific, it's this time period and it's there in Alabama and that's what it is. And he kind of wanted it to be like it could be at any point in time, correct me if I'm wrong. That's correct. Um, it could be at any point in time, it could be in any place. So you kind of have to take that and a little period, a little bit of a, a southern, I guess you could say, and mix it all and match it all together. And I basically just said a bunch of things a bunch of different ways and when my mom was like you know you've done this and this and this over and over again um, I kind of found like that was my niche and so I went in there and I was like you know what? I'm just gonna do what I feel is right and I went to the voiceover and he was like that's exactly what I was looking for and I was like oh, thank Jesus so that was the way I did that her, her I, I do want to say this because again People need to understand her ability to actually fall into this and grasp it and take it on and, and, and trust and believe because I, I gave her the, the um, highly dreaded perspective. It's nondescript. You know, how do you make nondescript correct? You know, and she found the nuances because what I want out of the film is for everyone to, to see that this was a period but it's still a period today because there's so much, so many places and so many people in the world that are still living in these circumstances. And so I, I want to bring about the fact that this could have happened then, but it's, it's also true that it could happen now. And she, she handles it very well. I've, I've been in a lot of, a lot of things and I'm like, okay, I, I, you know, I'll have my friends and family see this and, and I'll have, you know, some people that know my friends and family see this. Um, but when I got this, I was so so excited and I was like oh my gosh it's the film um, and just to see it kind of come to life with the voiceover I got really excited and and hearing him talk about it and you know in May and we're just moving forward and I love moving forward because you know I know a, a few people that have started started film productions and then it, you know whatever the reason may be they halt and then I'm stuck in a, so are we doing this or are we not doing this? <laughs> um, but seeing it move forward is a great relief and it's very refreshing, so. You know, one of the things that I'm really um, happy about is this, you know, I've now been in the, you know, producing and directing side for a little while and, and all of my life I've, I've loved talent. And I've been able to, you know, pinpoint this person, that person. You know, I'll, I'll tell my wife, you see this person right here, you're going to see them in a year. You, you can just tell. And I want everybody to know that um, when this is all said and done, you will know Brianna Beaton, without a doubt. She is that good. And I am very proud to say that we'll be able to, to, to uh, put upon the screen introducing Brianna Beaton. And it'll be our, our work to be done. So, yeah, that excites me. Everything that Maddie is going through in this film, um, I've almost gone through none of it. In a sense. <laughs> almost gone through none of it. Well, well, it's like I do have a dad that's strict, and but my mom's not forgetting a lot of the things, and and she and I and I have a gr grandmother, but she doesn't live with me, but she is very she is that anchor so that's pretty much the same but it's like I think that I just have to place myself in her shoes and place myself in the shoes of a lot of people that are going through different things um, and I think that's that's one of the only ways that I can do it because if I go into this and I'm just like well I'm just going to rely on my own experiences and trying to build on it I don't think that I can get to that full because I much rather I much rather go so much past what what you need and then have you to kind of mm -hmm. rein me back, then barely be giving something, and then you'd be like trying to force it out of me. So mm -hmm. I think trying to experience, or not trying to experience, but trying to understand what it would be like to experience 
the things that Maddie is going through and, and the things that her friend is going through and the things that her mom and her dad are going through, which would really help me to, I guess, kind of fill Maddie out in my, in my own way. And, you know, for me, I am such a actor's director, you know, having been on the, in, in the front of the camera for so long all my life, you know, in that sense. I understand actors and I, I love working with actors. And again, she understands the aspect of that work. You know, she brings so much to the table of being able to go to the nth degree and also to be pulled back. She understands the concept, so it's not something that I have to, you know, uh, infuse. It's something that I have to use because it's already in there. Um, when she came in and did the um, the voiceovers, and you know, and I, we you know, we shot the concept reel and everything else, and without having to go through the process, her ability to bring the emotion and bring the exact tonality and all these kind of things, when you see the concept and, and to, to realize that she hasn't even gone through the actions yet, it's amazing. 